Hello everyone, this is a video tutorial on how to make your own PSP in-game videos like I do for Monster Hunter, but you can also do it for any other PSP game. The main reason I'm doing this is because every now and then I get a message like this one that's asking me how to record your videos and such and such. So I thought I'd be nice and actually show you. Okay, what you're actually doing is you're getting your program on your PSP to show your PSP screen up onto your PC screen like this and then you're just recording it from that. You can't actually record it straight from the PSP to the uh, memory stick. That'd be a really good idea, but no one's thought of it yet. Okay, first of all, you need to have custom firmware on your PSP. If you don't know what that is, then look up on Google a person called Dark Alex, giving us a power from the dark side. And just click on that, and it'll bring you here, and then you can download all your custom firmwares and stuff and stuff. I wouldn't trust 3.9, I had some problems running ISOs on it, I don't know why, it's probably just my PSP. Um, although it's not as simple as you just download these programs and put them on your PSP and it'll install it. You have to downgrade it and like use a Pandora battery and stuff like that. Just look it up on Google, there's loads of stuff on it. Okay, when you've got custom firmware fully working on your PSP and you make sure that everything works. Also, if you're running, if you're on a fat PSP, make sure you have the 1.5 kernel add on. Otherwise, I don't think it'll work. And then go on to the first link in the video details, and it'll bring you here to the post by Hardy47. And you need to download these two links here. Once you've done that, just open them up. And then with the first one, which is the remote joy and screenshot one, just get drag these onto your desktop or extract them in any way you want, really. Then you're going to have to copy these into your, well, put your PSP into your uh, USB mode first. Then go into SE plugins and just put them in there. Like I am now. You don't have to enable them straight away because um, as this, hang on, let me find it. As this post says, sometimes you have to register or we'll make sure that your PC registers your PSP when you plug it in. So just go through all of this and it will show you how you have to use a program, PSP link, and then you have to install the drivers and such. It's pretty damn easy. Okay, when you've done all that, go into the second download uh, raw file and it'll give you here. And these are the programs, this is actual remote joy here. You're going to use this one and the USB host worm. Just make a quick shortcut of these on your desktop on the quick launch icon, uh, menu thingy just so you don't have to go through all the files every single time you want to use them. When you've done that, then enable all the plugins in your USB, just go to the recovery menu, then plugins and blah blah blah. Right, and then you have to start up these two programs, but you have to start up this one first, USB host one, otherwise the other one just won't work. I don't know why it just won't. So start it up and you'll get a weird black screen and then start remote joy up and then you get a little window like this will pop up. Okay, once you've done that, then load up your Monster Hunter game or whatever. I'm not sure what it is with other games, but for some reason when you're running the plugin, sometimes loading doesn't fully work on your PSP. Sometimes it will go to load and it will just freeze because of the when the US only when the USB cable is plugged in, sorry. Um, you'll notice when, as soon as you plug in the USB, when you're in the game, on the Windows thing, you hear like a little boom, which means it's connected. On Monster Hunter, it seems to be best to plug it in when you're on a quest. I'll show you in the village. It seems to be fine. Like I'll show you now. I'll plug it in, and it should come up. There it is. There's Orlan in his funny pirate costume. Also, if you want to get rid of that little frame rate counter, just press F9 and it will go away. You can also press F4 and it will half the screen. If nothing shows up, press F8 and sometimes it works. Right, okay, so you're in the village and it works fine here. But if you're online or you're in the guild hall with some friends or something, it seems to be best to plug in the USB cable when you go into this screen here. This is the best time to plug it in because then the loading's already started and then it doesn't mess up. It works fine in the village. I mean, sometimes it might work in the guild hall, but it's best to be safe. Oh, look, see? It's messed up there. Sometimes it messes up, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why, it just does it. Well, okay, now I'll do as I said. I'll plug in the USB cable as soon as the quest has started loading up already. And it should come up on the screen. There you go, see? It just updates itself. 
and then the quest is loading hopefully it'll work there you go and then you just have to record it pretty simple right okay once so you're happy with that now you're going to and now I'm going to tell you about the program you actually use to, uh, to record the screen if you go into the second link on the video details you bring into this website this is a program you're going to use it's called hypercam uh, once you're here just go and download hypercam and just download any depending on the language and blah 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 you don't have to register it but if you don't then you get a little annoying tag you might have seen it in some videos already just saying unregistered version of hypercam or something they're quite like they're not too bad but if you're like me you're picky and you want your videos the best then you're gonna just crack it or buy the program it doesn't cost that much I don't think and it'll get rid of it for you okay once you've installed that you'll get this window here I'm recording at the moment um, and the options are pretty simple select windows what you want to call all region um, these seem to be the best settings I found for actually recording videos for PSP games uh, 30 frames because that's the frame rate at which the PSP runs at and that's the quality of the video that is recorded although beware if you have a hundred percent that means that the video file is extremely large like 10 minutes goes to about a gig or something stupid like that so only do it if you have like a, re like a lot of space in your computer and only do it if you want the best quality for your video so 75 percent works fine as well but a hundred percent obviously just looks like a little bit better also if you want to record sound which is what I'm doing now these two have to be the same um, every other options can stay pretty much the same you can change the hotkeys if you want um, but make sure to run this program after you've done all your stuff for your remote drive because some of the hotkeys might be the same like F4 for example and stuff like that okay when you're happy with all your settings just mess around with it a bit before you actually record any videos just make sure that you know you get the best quality that you want and stuff like that also for some reason when you're with a hypercam if the video goes over like seven or ten minutes long it's just for some reason the AVI files just won't open up in any program so when you're recording hi, let me find it just quickly press like I do now start and stop really quick and it fixes the problem also it seems to be that the shorter the clip the better the quality of the clip so I do about every two minutes or so or a minute even just to make sure the quality stays at its best okay once you're happy with what you've recorded then I'll tell you about saving. Sometimes the saving messes up, like I said already, with Remote Joy, the loading and stuff messes up. So the best way to save is, well, obviously when you've done the quest, just leave it as normal, and then it'll go through the general malarkey. Well, okay, when it comes to this screen, make sure to click no. It might work, it depends on the PSP, but for some PSPs it doesn't. So once again, it's better to be safe than sorry. You know, because sometimes you can do like a mega quest, get loads of rewards, and then you go to save, and then the game freezes, and it doesn't work. So once you've done all that, you're either in the guild hall or the village, keep the USB uh, cable plugged in at all times. Sometimes you can save. Oh yeah, you have to come back here to save, there's no other way. Um, sometimes you can save with the USB plugged in, but once again, just when it, that comes up now, just take it out and then click on save. I'll check now if it works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You know, so it's best just to do it without to make sure that you don't lose any of that good stuff. Mm. Okay, once you've done that, then you just have to simply click on stop recording and then it will save the video to whatever that address is. Um, and then you have to open up the program of which you want to make your movie from. Windows Movie Maker isn't the best, but it's the easiest to use and it comes free. Okay, once you've made your video using whatever program you're using, just upload it onto YouTube and everything should work. Also, when you go into it, I'm not sure if all videos do this, but after a while, it'll let you watch it in high quality. Make sure to click on it, because then, well, it's much better quality, really. Um, that's it for me now. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, if you have any queries, don't be afraid to message me. Sorry about the small screen. I couldn't be bothered to change it. These are the same settings which are used for Remote Joy. And sorry for like a videos lately, but I've just been too busy, and I've got a PS3 now, so I've been playing that instead. Really. Um, okay. I've once again hope you find this helpful, and uh, I'll hope to make more movies. See you.